City rivalry down in Racine with Park having a chance to claim the SEC crown if they can knock off host Case. Eagles come out flying high. Jalen Campbell picks the pocket of Dominic Fumbanks, lays it in for the early 9-5 lead. But Park would end the frame on a 9-3 run. Acrobatic tipping off the law by Devin Hall. Panthers would lead 14-12 after one. Different story in the second. D'Angelo Jackson is gonna keep it himself. Nifty spin and finish. Then as the quarters come into a close, Darian King gets it to fall as he falls. Case would be up 25-18 at the break. In the third, it's Park's turn to make a run. Bumbags, strong down low move. Then Jerron McLean with a larceny and Park would retake the lead 33-32. But down the stretch, it's Case who would close this one out. Floor length pass finds King who dunks it for the deuce. Then off the inbounds, Quentin Marzetti hits Tyrese Pinson. He goes all the way to the rack for the easy lay-in. Park will have to wait for another night to clinch that Southeast Conference title because on this night, it's Case who's your winner, 53-51. West Dallas Central looking to do something they haven't done since way back in 1979. That's win a conference title in boys basketball. Standing in their way, a Menominee Falls team that's won seven of their last nine. Bulldogs get off to a great start. Jarvis Garrett tickles the twine from Tinseltown. Then it's freshman Brandon Key unlocking one from right around the charity stripe. Central would be up six after the first. The second quarter, well, that belonged to North Carolina recruit J.P. Tokato. First he hits the jumper, then silky smooth through the lane for two more, and he's just getting warmed up. We have liftoff, people. Thunderous tomahawk slam as part of a 20-point night for Tokito. It also puts Falls within four at the break, 25-21. In the third, things get even tighter. C.J. Malone hits the pretty runner in the lane, and through three in West Dallas, we're even on the scoreboard. But not for long, because the final quarter belonged to Central. And more specifically, senior forward Nigel McMillan. Hits the three, then running the floor, McMillan takes it all the way himself. And then your capper, the power move under the basket. McMillan nets a game high 21. Central downs falls 62-48. And for the first time in 33 years, the Dogs can call themselves conference champs. It's very sweet, man. I'm happy. I'm so happy, man. I'm, the Warriors can't probably come to me right now. I'm just glad we put together, like, as a team and did what we had to do down, down the stretch here. So right now it's just, it's live, man. It's, it, like, it's finally here.